Today we will be learning how to draw a zombie, or the living impaired as we prefer to be called. Okay, so you're going to want a workstation, and it can look something like this. You just need a flat surface. You're going to want a light, which I have right there. You're going to want a rag or some kind of a towel to wipe your brush on. Some paper, it can be any kind of paper you want. Um, a picture to go from. It can be a picture you took. It could be a picture that you printed out on the internet. It could be a picture from a magazine. Or it could be a stalker picture you took at your mailman. Something to look at and draw from so you can get the proportions right. Or if you're just really good at drawing people, you can just draw your person however you want. And you're going to want some water to rinse your brush off. If you're using paint, you don't have to use paint. You can use uh, pens or ink or um, I don't even know. You could use charcoal, pencils. You can use whatever you want, but today we're going to be using gouache. Okay, so I had mentioned that we would talk about gouache in one of the videos. This is gouache. Let's see if you can see that. Oh, no, you cannot see that. There you go. It is an opaque watercolor. And what that means is it will cover, like a lighter color like white will cover black. So it's just like watercolor, but it's opaque. So that's what we're going to use. And I only need three colors for these. I need black, white, and this crimson color. So that's what we will be using. Hard for me to film. I've got the tripod right here, right in front of me. But um, I've picked this picture right up. Oh right here. It's just a pinup model that I found on Google. And then, it kind of goes with my other pinup zombies. So, using that. And then, oh, and you're also going to want a scrap piece of paper for, um, that, like, just to test the brush on to see how much ink you have on there, or how much paint you have on there, which I use right there. I'm working on this other zombie over here. Um, so I have this picture. And then what you're going to want to do is draw out the outline of what it's going to look like. Um, if you want to look up how to draw people, you can to get an idea, you can do that. But I've just drawn circles right around here for the head, circle for the body, circle for this area, circles, circles everywhere, or ovals. And then I kind of, I drew where the legs would be. And I drew all that beforehand because it takes me a lot of times, or a lot of tries, and a lot of erasing. So I've done that. So I've drawn her on there. Now you want to start doing the zombie bits, and a zombie has, well I mean you can draw it however you want, but I like to draw them with big eye sockets with eyeballs in them. Also it's really hard to talk and draw at the same time. And she's looking down, I'll draw the circles there. I'm not sure what she's going to be sweeping up yet, I haven't figured that out. We'll draw the eyeballs. And then they don't have a normal nose, because their nose has rotted off. It's fallen, and it's on the ground somewhere. They don't need a nose. It's just a rotted area of what the nose used to look like. And then the hairline's right here. Um, they're going to have little... I draw these little bumpy things all over. I'm not really sure what it is, but it looks gross. And some lines where the right around the eye sockets. And then we'll do the mouth, which I just do a jagged line around it. Like that. Just jag it out. Jag ugh. Jagged bits of the line and then some teeth. And then we're going to want to draw the chin. And the ear, but the hair comes down and covers the ear a little bit. There's the shoulder. And there's some collarbones. And I like to make the chest look kind of gross, like it's really skinny and the bones are showing through. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned, <clears throat> like, I have this jar of water here. Oops, we'll zoom out. I have a jar of water here and my paintbrushes that to rinse the paintbrushes off. But I also have a little cup of water um, that we'll use with the gouache because 
it's just easier to like to pour it oh and I have these lids various size lids from jars I use the black in this one the red in this one and then the white in this little baby baby food jar because I only need a little bit of the white so I have those three sizes it's really easy to use with the with the gouache so yes oh and you might want some of this too okay I hope it's not blurry. Okay, and I wish I could get closer and have a better idea or angle so you could see what I was doing, but um, I don't really know how to do all that, so. Okay, so you're gonna wanna draw the arm, and you can draw it a little bonier than normal because these people, or zombies, are just skin and bones and rotting flesh. And then, you know, I want to erase some of the circles you drew to make it look a little cleaner. And then, sometimes I like to draw a jagged line here, and then draw a bit of the bone. And then we'll darken that up when we use the paint. I'm going to want to erase a lot. I'm going to be doing a lot of erasing because I'm not perfect. So, and sometimes it takes me a while to figure out what I'm going to do. I'll just stare at it. I don't just draw it out all at once, but, and I don't, like, I'm not done with the head. I'll come back to that. Sometimes it's better to just move on to something that will be easier to draw. And on the sleeves, I'm going to make them, they're kind of ruffly, but I'm going to put, make them look like they're torn a bit. Just do jagged, jagged lines. And you can always look back at your picture. I'm sorry I'm not a very good teacher. I'm just, I thought it would be fun to see how to draw one of these. But I know I said I wasn't going to teach anyone how to draw. Which I'm not really. I mean, you're just watching me draw a zombie. But if you learned something from it, that would be good. That would be awesome. But I was going to work on these anyway, and I thought, why not make a video? And I'm very, very sorry if it's all blurry and not watchable. And then I like to do a little bit of muscle tissue, which is just I draw a bunch of straight lines for a while and then I draw in a different angle, more lines. Lots of muscle showing. And lots of gross little things all over. And you can add a spider if you want. Usually I'd put a spider somewhere. You could do spider web somewhere. I'm not sure where I'm going to put a spider. Okay, so I've just finished up drawing and I've decided she is carrying a mop. And she is mopping up, oops, a pile of blood. A pool of blood, actually. Not a pile, a pool. Now what we're going to do is add the gouache. Okay, I know it's not very zoomed in, but that just wasn't working for me. Okay, so you get the black, or whatever ink you're going to use. You could just use a pen if you wanted. I just like the look of the gouache better. You take this. If I can open it, we will use it. Okay. You just need a little bit, but especially just, you know, maybe even less than that because it dries out really quickly, especially if you have a warm lamp on it. And then I just pour a little bit. Oops, that's a lot. But you just want a little bit. And then I have this really 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 teeny tiny small little brush and I noticed that a lot of my oops a lot of my art teachers said do not waste your time on the tiny brushes but that's all I use so it's very small I got this at Michaels and that is where I recommend getting any kind of paint brushes or paint or anything because it's good stuff oh I use way too much water but we're gonna make that work so just get a little bit and this is where you're 
that's where the paper comes in handy. See, that's not enough ink. Get it in there. Oh, too much. We'll get it right. Okay. And this is the boring part. I might just skip out on it. Oops. You don't want too much paint on your brush. Why isn't this working? It's all blotchy. Okay. I don't know really what to say at this point, except um, I'm messing up a lot. A lot. But we can always fix that, even if you think you've messed up. Don't just give up. Don't throw it away. You can fix it. Usually. Usually you can fix it. Or you can change it into something else that, you know, you might not have been going for, but you can change it into something else. Yeah, I'm not liking this right now. <laughs> but we'll fix it. Not much to say. Kind of boring, huh? My brushes are already kind of ruined. I need new ones. Even though I just got these. Be nice to your brushes, unless you have a lot of money to spend on them. Which I don't, which is why I buy them at Michael's. And I got like... A set of 24 or 25 brushes for 5 bucks? I think that's a pretty good deal. And they're not really crappy either. They're pretty good. They're pretty good brushes. No right or wrong way to draw a zombie. As long as they look disgusting. Time to refill. We're magically done with the drawing. Well, the outlining. Woo! And I'm gonna do the red later. Now it's time for the shading.